Lots of people travel to the big station at the end of the line. Engines from the other railway sometimes pull their trains. These engines stay the night and go home next day. Gordon was talking one day to one of these. When I was young and green, he said, I remember going to London. Do you know the place? The station's called King's Cross. King's Cross? snorted the engine. London's Euston. Everybody knows that. Rubbish, said Duck. London's Paddington. I know. I worked there. They argued till they went to sleep. They argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the other engine went away. Stupid thing, said Gordon crossly. I've no patience. Stupid yourself, said Duck. London's Paddington. Paddington, do you hear? Stop arguing, James broke in. You make me tired. You're both agreed about something anyway. What's that? London's not Euston, laughed James. Now shut up! London lay beyond the big station, at the other end of the line. Gordon had to stop there. Another engine then took his train. I'm sure it's King's Cross. Prove it. But that was easier said than done. One day he ran right through the station. Another time he tried to start before the farmer could uncouple the coaches. He tried all sorts of tricks, but it was no good. His driver tricked him every time. Oh dear, he thought sadly, I'll never get there. One day, he pulled the express to the station as usual. The fireman uncoupled the coaches, and he ran onto his siding to wait till it was time to go home. The coaches waited and waited at the platform, but their engine didn't come. A porter ran across and spoke to Gordon's driver. The inspector's on the platform. He wants to see you. He came back in a few minutes looking excited. The engine for the express turned over when it was coming out the yard. Nothing else can come in or out. They want us to take the train to London. I said we would if the fact controller agreed. They telephoned and he said we could do it. How's that? It was only a few minutes before the guard blew his whistle, but Gordon thought it was ages. Come on! He puffed to the coaches. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! We're going to town, we're going to town, sang the coaches. Gordon found that London was a long way away. Never mind, he said. I'd like a good long run to stretch my wheels. But all the same, he was glad when London came in sight. Gordon returned next day. The fat controller spoke to his driver and farman. I see you had a good welcome in London. We certainly did, sir. We signed autographs till our arms ached. And Gordon had his photograph taken from so many directions at once that he didn't know which way to look. Good, smiled the fat controller. I expect he enjoyed himself. Didn't you, Gordon? No, sir, I didn't. Why have I not? London's all wrong, answered Gordon sadly. They've changed it. It isn't King's Cross anymore. It's St. Pancras, 